please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly state that the testimony you may give in the cause now pending before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will help you God? Yes, ma'am, I do. Please be seated. Thank you. Please state your name for the record. Spell your first and last names. My name is Michael Amir Williams. First name Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Last name Williams, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. Mr. Williams, good morning. Good morning, sir. Let me provide you with some instructions that I give to every witness in every case. The first, please sit back and relax. The second, please speak in a loud voice so we can hear you. The third, Please answer yes or no if you're called upon, rather than using uh-huh or uh-uh, which can be a little confusing. And the fourth, please wait until you hear an entire question before you even start to answer it. In our daily lives, many of us are But in a courtroom, it's important to hear the entire question before you start to answer it. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Direct exam, Mr. Waldron. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Mr. Williams, I want to take you back initially uh, to the time of June 25th, 2009. Uh, where were you employed at that time? I worked for Mr. Michael Joseph Jackson. And what was your position with Michael Jackson? Uh, I was commonly known as his personal assistant. And how long had you been employed in any capacity with Michael Jackson prior to June 25th, 2009? Um, I was hired as a personal assistant in mid-2007, approximately June around that, around that time. Uh, and before then, I wasn't full-time. I would just help with film and different things that I did. But okay. June 2007, I was officially hired. Did you say you would help with films? For, uh, yeah. For film. I went to USC, and that's what I was brought on to kind of help manage his... Uh, he had a huge film library of books and DVDs, so... Michael Jackson. Did yes, sir. It. Okay. And so you were brought on to what, archive and organize? Archive and organize. Okay. And then in mid-2007, you were hired on in a full-time capacity as a personal assistant? Correct. Okay. And was that employment as a personal assistant then um, uh, continuous then from mid-2007 until Michael Jackson's death on uh, June 25, 2009? Yes, sir. Okay. As Michael Jackson's personal assistant, what were your responsibilities, Mr. Williams? Um, I, pretty, I uh, managed day-to-day -day schedules, arranged, uh, set up phone calls, meetings, planned trips, okay. anything big to anything small. I just would you also consider yourself to have been a friend of Michael's? Oh, yes, sir. You would see him on a daily basis? Yes, sir, several times a day. Now, in this time, oh, well, let me ask you this. In 2007, mid-2007, where was Michael Jackson living? Mid-2007, he was in Las Vegas. But when I came on board, he had just went to Virginia, and he flew me out to Virginia, and he okay. stayed there for the summer. And at what point did he move to the home at 100 North Carrollwood in Los Angeles County? That was early 2008. I'm, I'm sorry, early, and Carolwood was early 2009. Okay. Yes, sir. And if I could just correct that. Please. It's actually late 2008, so it was around... 2008? Christmas. Correct, yes, sir. Okay. And specifically, um, in regard to the time at Carrollwood. Um, were you also responsible for kind of being a liaison between the security detail and Mr. Jackson? Yes, sir. Okay. Staff, uh, mainly, mainly uh, immediate staff, housekeepers and nannies, chefs, security. Okay. You would be the liaison? Correct, yes, sir. Okay. And 
As far as the um, Kara Woodlow report to work uh, at that location as Michael's personal assistant, where would you go? I would come in, mainly stop at the security trailer, call, let him know that I'm there. Um, I would always call, let him know I'm there first, see if he needed me. Uh, maybe he wanted me to run errands or maybe to come up and help, but I'll just call, I'll get there, come to the security trailer and just call. Okay. And would the security trailer, uh, for lack of a better word, basically be your, your office or headquarters? Uh, you could say that. I didn't really have an office, but I would be in there from time to time if I wasn't. I never hung in the house. You never I mean, hung in the house? Yeah, not to say hung, but you know, I never just stayed in the house in okay. leisure time. So if I wasn't doing something, I was either doing something, running errands, or I would be in the trailer. Okay. Um, you would not be in the house unless called in to do something in particular by Mr. Jackson? Correct. Okay. I want to show you sir, a series of exhibits. At, during this time period, uh, following the move to 100 North Carrollwood, uh, who lived in the house uh, on a permanent basis? In the Carrollwood home? Yes. Uh, Michael Jackson and his three children, uh, Prince, Paris, and Blanket. Okay. And no one else? No, sir. Okay. I have a picture of uh, Prince, Paris, and Blanket. Your Honor, may this be marked People's Five for identification. Please. And Mr. Uh, Williams, uh, you see this picture here? Yes, sir. Okay. And are these Michael's three children? Yes, sir. On the upper right, is that um, his oldest son, Prince? Yes, sir. As well as his, his daughter, Paris, on the left? Yes. And his youngest son, uh, Blanket? Yes, sir. Okay. And the house that you uh, described let me go ahead and mark some of these exhibits. You want to have a fo aerial photograph of uh, what appears to be 100 North Carroll. Would that may that be marked People's Six for identification? People's Six and People's Five was removed from the uh, overhead. Thank you. Yes. And a picture of the front of the house uh, depicting the glass front doors. May that be marked People's Seven? Yes. Picture of the uh, front entryway of the interior of the house. People's Eight. Yes. And a picture of the uh, exterior white trailer. May that be marked People's Nine? Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Mr. Williams, uh, can you tell us what's shown here? Uh, that is the home on 100 North Carrollwood. This is, this is set. Correct? I'm sorry. You said this stuff. Uh, yeah, people say. All right. Thank you. And uh, it's a little washed out um, because of the monitor, but uh, looking at people six, do you see the location where your security trailer was located? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. Um, looking at the photo, uh, let me just point out, is this would this be the front glass door area where I'm pointing uh, just about in the middle of the photograph in the front of the house? Yes, sir. Okay. And as you look at people six going to the right, um, where I'm pointing here, is this the white <coughs> security trailer to the uh, side of the home? Yes, sir. Okay. And that's the trailer you described uh, where you would be if not running errands or uh, doing some uh, a particular task? Yes, sir. Okay. Showing you people seven. Uh, is that does that depict the the glass front doors uh, right here in the front of the house? Yes, sir, it does. Okay. Describe what is shown in People's Eight that I just put on the monitor. Sure. If you walk through the front door, uh, that's mainly what you'll see, excluding the left and the right visual. But uh, that's what you'll see walking in. Okay. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Please. 
Mr. Williams, can you uh, just by pressing this red button? Okay. Can you just uh, point out, so the, the glass doors in the front of the house that you previously identified, you looked in through those glass doors? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, looking to the, the left, where it appears to be a stairway. Can you point to it? Please. Right there. Okay. And th are those stairs? Those are stairs, correct. Okay, and those lead up to the second floor landing area? Yes, sir. It's, it was a uh, little halfway spiral staircase that goes Okay, upstairs. and you've indicated with the pointer that, it, that they basically spiral up to the second floor? Yes, sir. Okay. And the glass doors that you see to the rear uh, of that photograph, does that go out to the, the back patio, backyard area? Yes, sir, it does. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to people's nine for identification. What is that, Mr. Williams? That's the trailer, okay. security trailer. <gasps> okay, thank you. <laughs> now, as part of your jobs as a personal assistant, um, were you part of uh, the planning and or arrangements to uh, proceed to the rehearsals during the month of May and June 2009? Yes, sir, I was. Okay. Uh, and did that include rehearsals in Burbank at Center Staging? Yes, sir. Okay. Would you actually uh, accompany Mr. Jackson to these rehearsals? Unless he had me on a different uh, assignment, I would. Okay. And did that include then uh, the rehearsals at the forum as well? Yes, sir. Okay. And as well, the uh, uh, toward the very end of the center? Yes, sir. Okay. And was there kind of a general routine that would be followed? Uh, and I'm speaking from a security vantage point. Was there a general routine that would be followed in transporting Michael uh, to these rehearsals? Um, for the most part, we would have an advanced vehicle um, who would go before us, make sure the route is, we take the proper route, it may be construction, they'll tell us, you know, so they go advance through the route, make sure everything's set up, make sure it's a safe entrance. Uh, once advance is there, then Mr. Jackson uh, would be in the principal vehicle with a trail vehicle behind it, and the trail vehicle would have security following. Uh, but the principal vehicle, he would be in the back uh, the majority of the times, and a driver, and if I went, I would usually sit in the front seat. So as a typical routine, uh, it would be the driver and you up front and Mr. Jackson in the back? Yes, sir. Uh, being trailed by another security vehicle? Yes, sir. Okay. On occasions, there'll be two security in the front, and I would probably be advanced. I, go, I went advanced sometimes. It just depends. But just typically, that's normal. Okay. And as part of... Uh, these security arrangements. Uh, was it a common occurrence for uh, fans to be camped out uh, in the driveway of 100 North Carrollwood? Yes, sir. Okay. Was that a daily occurrence? It was very normal. We, we expected. Okay. And he would uh, make sure we was polite. He made sure we stopped. And, you know, if any security did anything out of line, they would be gone.